are you a gamer do you like playing video games then this video is for you you need to see this i'm a researcher doing phd in biotechnology and i'm also a gaming enthusiast so today uh, we're going to talk about the uh, advantages and disadvantages of gaming and um, also the psychology behind the gaming how your brain works when you're playing the uh, video game and also how to tackle the addiction so first we are going to talk about the psychology of gaming uh, in this in this segment i'm going to explore uh, the fascinating world of gaming and the psychology behind it video games have a powerful influence on our psychological process they engage our brains in unique ways making gaming much more than just a source of entertainment uh, research has shown that gaming can have various effects on um, cognitive abilities, problem solving skills, decision making process. So one interesting aspect is the impact of gaming on our cognitive abilities. Studies have suggested that a certain video game solving different complex patterns which can sharpen our cognitive skills. Additionally, video games often present players with uh, real challenges, puzzles, problems. These challenges, as I said, can stimulate critical thinking and problem solving. Uh, we have a course in our uh, we have a course in our um, PhD, which it is called Versa, and it is uh, based on improving your soft skill abilities through video games like uh, decision making time management critical thinking one of the most liked game that i one of the most played and i also like that game is uh, portal 2 and it really uh, challenges you in thinking in spatial abilities increasing your spatial abilities so it is very good um, and this type of uh, advances are happening even in the research area also they are trying to improve people soft skills through video games so these challenges can stimulate critical thinking and problem solving so it, but it's not just the cognitive skills video games also have an impact on our emotions as well gaming can evoke a wide range of emotions from excitement especially from from the release of uh, dopamine and uh, serotonin and gaming can awake uh, a wide range of emotions excitement joy frustration even fear i often feel frustrated when things are and the game is not moving forward and i'm constantly stuck at some point so these neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, epinephrine also have an effect on your body. So we're going to understand that and process that information and how to be in control of yourself completely rather than you being in control of the games. As per the statistics, there are over 2 billion people who are currently playing the video games. So it is very concerning factor that we need to have and we need to consider uh, and there are diseases less such as gaming disorder which is reported by NHS they are treating hundreds and thousands of people with gaming disorders a gaming disorder means a person's mm, struggle to control his uh, emotions his his movements and his not able to eat properly not able to uh, communicate properly with others he's in the he's basically in addiction mode just like any other addiction gaming has also a kind of addiction especially children who are below uh, 17 16 year olds they have no control over their emotions and feeling hence the gaming gets better of them so uh, this is a very concerning effect and it is not going to go away very soon and it's it's going even it's going to increase over time so it, there is an importance to address this issue right now whereas uh, gaming has also um, positive effects on other people uh, like if you are like in control you can improve your skills you can improve your thinking uh, you, you can test your mental abilities as well as improve them over time so it, it has both 
negative end as well as positive effects my, my point is that you need to have a control over who is playing the game and how he is playing it how for how many hours he is playing it and when he is able to uh, s- separate himself from the game as such and and be in real life like enjoying with the family talking with the friends have a life real life outside living a normal life so in the next part we are going to talk about the game and brain function how actually brain functions when you are playing the game uh, like what hormones are released how are you reacting to the game are you uh, reacting positively negatively how is it chal- testing your brain everything we are going to understand in the next video until then keep watching and keep playing but not too much don't forget to subscribe like and share this video because it will help everyone who is tackling and who is overcoming the gaming addiction